Hello everybody from Plant Reviews UK. Today is the 21st of September and today I'm talking about another one of the jasmines I bought from Vivai Malavarosa. I bought quite a few jasmines for my collection of fragrant plants and this one is Jasminum adenophyllum uh, that uh, is commonly known as blue grape jasmine or princess jasmine. This plant belong, uh, belongs to the family Oleaceae, so the olive family, uh, together uh, to all the other true jasmines, as well as to many other fragrant plants. And in particular, this jasmine I found uh, that is endemic to India, and in particular to the uh, state of Meghalaya uh, in India. The flowers um, can be uh, up to, uh, yeah, the flowers are quite big and up to five centimeters across. Uh, however, let's, uh, and are beautifully fragrant, however, let's start talking a little bit about the plant. Uh, the plant is still, my plant is still in the pot that I purchased from uh, Vivai Malvarosa, as you can see on the tag and uh, this uh, time uh, unlike the Jasminum abyssinicum the description for Jasminum uh, adenophyllum actually matches with the plant uh, with the plant I uh, have all the information I found on uh, on the internet so I am uh, pretty sure that uh, this one is the uh, adenophyllum uh, the plant, uh, well, I obviously have a still a, a pretty small plant uh, that uh, anyway uh, is um, in when grows uh, bigger uh, is a vine that is up to 1.8 meters tall. This is about six foot tall. Uh, the uh, leaves are green, as you can see, and uh, ovate. The plant produces uh, um, flower buds that are kind of uh, pinkish white. I'm not sure if I'm able to focus on the flower bud. Uh, maybe if I put my hand behind, it's a bit easier. Um, no, not really. And you can uh, just trying to focus now on this plant on the on the bud, but yes, uh, you can actually see this pinkish hue on the uh, flower bud here. However, the flowers when they open up are uh, completely white. They have this. Corolla with, uh, in my case, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, nine uh, lobes. Uh, the flowers, as many jasmines as you can see, are tubular. And uh, um, from the, yeah, when the flower is open, only on the um, outer part, you can actually see a hint, really, of uh, a hint of pink, but basically the flower is mostly uh, white. Uh, my flower is not really five centimeters across. I would say that probably with the tepals this time, sorry, with petals distended, must be about uh, 3.5 or 4 centimeters across. However, uh, the um, major factor is that the flower is fragrant. Really, about this flower I like a lot also the shape is uh, the fact that they have such uh, a, um, an exotic flower with uh, these uh, uh, petals that are so long and narrow, uh, obviously adds interest to this uh, plant. However, I bought it mainly for the fragrance. I have to say that, uh, well, at this time uh, the flower has just opened today and uh, um, I have to say the fragrance uh, is quite mild, it's not particularly intense. However, the type of fragrance is really nice. It's uh, uh, kind of in between the polyanthum and the, the uh, grandiflorum. So it's a mix of sweet and citrusy, really, really delightful. I am uh, more for the citrusy fragrance, the fruity fragrances rather than the very sweet uh, fragrances. So I like a lot this one because it's a good combination of sweet and citrus, I would say. Uh, the planting is reported extremely fragrant, but as I said, possibly because I have only one flower, 
and uh, it just opened up uh, to me the fragrance uh, seem only mild I decided to do the video today just because uh, I had a few uh, buds that uh, basically had a blast so they aborted so I really decided to uh, make the best of the video uh, showing today the plant in flower I so I have one flower and the bud that is the last flower at the moment however what I also find interest about this plant is that like many other jasmines it seems that this plant uh, tend to bear fruits quite easily and this is the name of the um, blue grape jasmine uh, because uh, basically this uh, uh, fruit is a berry you can see here developing and uh, here near this flower bud uh, I have uh, uh, a flower that is developed well the flower is faded already but uh, this um, the jasmine here is developing two uh, berries two fruits uh, these berries when fully ripen are um, kind of dark bluish purple and uh, very dark and uh, this is the origin of the name of the blue grape jasmine and also these uh, fruits attract birds uh, I I'm never I didn't find any um, information if they are uh, edible or not uh, I don't think I would get a chance unless I find information that they are edible because uh, many parts of jasmines uh, uh, can be uh, poisonous uh, so really I wouldn't take the chance even if the flowers of on jasmines are used for example for tea and for um, salads uh, I didn't find any information about uh, the um, uh, if the flowers of jasminum adenophyllum are actually edible and uh, I wouldn't <laughs> risk anyway the about the uh, propagation of this plant obviously uh, if you are uh, able to have fruits uh, you can when the fl fruits are ripen you can get the seed out of the fruit discard the fleshy coat and uh, plant the seed uh, as fresh as possible because I found that they're not uh, viable for very long and also the viability of the seeds uh, is about the 50% uh, however uh, this jasmine as uh, many other jasmine can be propagated asexually uh, as uh, with the hardwood cuttings uh, this plant uh, like uh, uh, many other tropical jasmines uh, is frost tender and uh, it's hardy outdoors uh, uh, in USDA 10 and up and as usual for many jasmines uh, prefers uh, full sun and well drained uh, but moist soil never waterlogged uh, about the name of the jasmine uh, the jasmines uh, including this one comes from uh, the um, Persian name Yasamin that uh, indicated uh, all fragrant uh, flowers and then was Latinized, uh, Latinized in Latin uh, the Persian world as uh, Jasminum so again uh, this uh, is a plant that I can definitely recommend in the United Kingdom in cold climates just as a house plant or uh, if uh, you uh, have a greenhouse or a conservatory you are very lucky and definitely you can grow it uh, in there otherwise it's um, really uh, not recommended outdoors if you want to grow um, fragrant jasmines outdoors in the United Kingdom I would go for the polyanthum and even the polyanthum if there is a very cold winter usually the buds are lost and sometimes also the uh, aerial parts of the plant and I am in zone USDA 8 in Kent in the center of Kent where I live some other parts of the UK might be colder and the polyanthum also might not be the best jasmine for you however there are other jasmine that are fragrant you can plant and I um, believe the most fragrant of the plant of the jasmines you can grow outside in the UK and in general in uh, other temperate countries is the jasminum officinale uh, there is still a very nice uh, fragrance and uh, is probably one of the hardiest of the jasmines to grow um, there are other jasmines that are not scented that are able to grow in uh, the United Kingdom in cold uh, climates like for example uh, jasminum basiamum there is a plant that has tiny red pinkish red flowers 
uh, that uh, mm, honestly I don't like in particular because uh, it is uh, a, um, one of the jasmines without scent and really for me fragrance and scent is really a big thing and also the red of the of the jasmine Umbesiamo is not that great really um, other jasmines you can grow in the United Kingdom is you know, jasmine is the jasmine de di florum that uh, has the peculiarity to bloom in winter and uh, you can see this plant uh, uh, covered with yellow flowers in winter again it's not scented but i have to say at least uh, it's one of the few flowers you can get in the united kingdom in winter so it's still uh, i think uh, as the, its own um, reasons to be planted in the garden even if obviously remember you can't plant everything you want in the garden me uh, i decided to go mostly for fragrant plants because i love fragrant plants and the ones that are not fragrant are very showy flowers also i don't use much the garden in winter so there was no point for me to plant the jasminum nudiflorum because i don't really use much the garden in winter and uh, i planted for an error jasminum um, Basianum because uh, uh, I found in the description that it was fragrant, but actually Jasminum Basianum is not fragrant, even if some internet sources report it as fragrant. And it's actually one of the reasons because I started to make uh, the, this YouTube channel because really I wanted to give objective reviews about the plants. I uh, grow obviously fragrance can be variable among plants and uh, different persons can have different sensitivities to fragrances, however uh, still, uh, I try to uh, get videos that are as objective as possible and also I found in the majority anyway of the website that Jasminum Bessianum and Jasminum Nidiflorum and I realize that in person are not fragrant at all in most of them, in most of the sources are actually correct. Um, just one thing, uh, thank you very much to all my subscribers, uh, I uh, am over 900 subscribers now and I am going hopefully soon we will reach the 1000 subscribers so a big thank you to all of you and uh, as usual if you like this video it would be great if you can please give a thumbs up and if you um, like this video and the other videos on my channel it would be great if you can please subscribe because it is completely free for you but in this way uh, you uh, give feedback to youtube the, the youtube stuff and then in turn they can promote my video on the platform as usual, if you have any questions about how to cultivate the plants, uh, where I grow them, where I got them from, or if you are not able to find some plants and would like to ask me if I can help, if I can help to uh, find the plants in your country that um, some sellers that you are able to purchase from, obviously feel free to ask, I hope to be able to help, but if not, hopefully I will be able to direct you to a person who can help and uh, I really hope that uh, you also uh, are able to get your own collection of uh, fragrant plant and fragrant jasmines. If you like fragrances, definitely jasmines are some of the most um, gorgeous plants, uh, both for the flower shape and for the uh, obviously incredible scent that uh, you can find uh, across plants. As usual, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.